This is a Tinoco steam cleaner. Uh, they do make one that's a cordless model. This is the corded one. It produces steam really quick and hot. Uh, really like how fast it starts up. My only big complaint is the button up here is not the power button. I, when I first got it, I kept confusing it. This is a self-cleaning mode, which is really neat. It'll tell you when it needs to be cleaned, but also clean it every time after you use it. But to clean it, you need the stand. You actually just drop it in on its own stand and you'll hit the self-clean mode and it runs the bristles on there to help clean off that roller and stuff. So that's how it cleans it. It has two tanks. It's got one in the back that just slides out. This is your clean water tank. It's not that big, but you really don't go through a ton of it because it's making it steam. So it doesn't use a ton of water. So you're not refilling it as much as you think you would be. And then the other tank is the dirty water tank. It just pops out like that. And then the top comes off. You can see I just use a little bit, pretty dirty, but has a filter to get rid of uh, the big things like that because this isn't just a steam cleaner. It'll also map up, mop up um, messes and stuff like that. But uh, that pops right back in place. Make sure you clean it every time. It will get pretty gross if you don't. Um, you got the auto mode when you just turn it on or you can turn the steam on and just make it steam for you. I don't use this all the time. We do have a uh, robo mop that does all our tile. We have a lot of tile in this house, so that does it daily. I like to bust this out about once or twice a month for a more deeper, thorough clean. It's nice with the steam because it helps sanitize really well, so it gets a nice, good clean, but a uh, great little unit. Love it. The cable is nice and long, which makes it so you're not constantly unplugging and replugging it in. So a uh, great unit, highly recommend it.